was turned into an army thing, then it became a bird thing, and a museum, or whatever. Henry Fonda stationed here, I think, for a bit. Unless he was Navy. Who's Henry Fonda? Around Christmas time, this little breakfast place used to sell these amazing polar bear sugar cookies. Man, those were good. And then one year they changed the formula or whatever and ruined it. Alex? Hey, still with us? You haven't said anything for like 10 minutes. I can watch the hypnotic rolling of the waves and listen to you at the same time. Oh, okay. What did I say? Little Miss, I can see and hear things at the same time. Something, something, cookies, or whatever. Perfect. You're right on the money. So you all moved in? Um, not, not really. I just got in this morning. And how did her mom meet your dad exactly? <laughs> they met on vacation in Orlando. He got lost in a, you know, actually, I'm not even going to tell this story. It's really not worth it. <laughs> okay. And you guys just met tonight? Yeah, I was, um... I'd been out of school, and the timing had just never worked out, so... And what does that make you to her, then? Hey, uh, second cousin? Uh, he's just a guy. What else would he be? No, but isn't there, like, a term for it? Um, stepbrother, technically. <laughs> oh, yeah. I forgot that was even a thing. Well, at least you seem cool, right? Cool guy, cool hat. You get a cool new sibling living right in your house. Sharing your toothbrush. Wearing your clothes. Yeah, no, it's a nice perk, I guess. Unless you're like a pyro or something. Just a klepto. So you're in luck. So, how do you two know each other? Oh, from way back when, like Paleozoic. Grade school era. Uh, who's the... Uh, who's driving this? That's Sea Captain Karen. She's doing us a favor. You'll notice we're the only ones doing the voyage. How you doing up there, Karen? Yeah, I um, did notice that. It's a little hush-hush, but she's dropping us off and then doing a uh, miscount on the way back so we can spend the night. But yeah, we're old friends, embarrassingly old friends. Like, we should have found better people to hang out with by now. Passengers, would you ride soon? Check under your seat to make sure you don't leave behind any grandchildren. Uh, wait, who's talking right now? It's a recording. They always play. Oh, oh, we should get a quick picture. All of us. This will be like the before. Yeah, let's do it. And it's Jonas? Not Jonah? Yeah, Jonas. Like Jonas Salk? Right, patient zero, AIDS guy. It's, um, biblical, right? Or is that the lion guy? I think every name's biblical, so probably. Here's good. Come on, Alex, join the fun. We are... There, great. I'll magic erase all the warts out and stuff, so don't worry. Hey, Alex, you brought the radio, right? The little portable one? Yeah, of course. Perfect. Can you pull it out a second? There's the little guy. Our high school has a radio station, and Carly, she's a friend of ours. She's filling in because Reggie got mono from some track runner or something. It doesn't matter. What matters is that she's going to say something like, basically, right now, about our thing. So tune it to 88.3 so I can tell her we heard it. Which I played because that song's been stuck in my head since I woke up this morning. But, oh... Oh, actually, it's a little after 10 o'clock, which means my dear friend Ren and his buddies are probably just touching down on Edwards Island for the yearly bash on the beach, or whatever we call it now. But anyways, I promised him that I'd play a song from his band, so hope you're listening, Ren. Here are the red-headed bedwetters with baby carrots. <laughs> That's awesome. I hope Christina, with her talent show judge face, was listening. We must be getting close. There's no radio reception on the island. I'm glad I got to hear it before it went totally kaput. If we can't use it, why'd you bring it? Not just for the boat. Um, no. You'll see. I don't expect too much, but nah, it'll be fun. I won't undercook it. You'll see.
smell that clean air, boys and girls. Boy and girl. This ain't city living. Yeah, um, anybody need a smoke? I have a full pack. Uh, oh, uh, no thanks. I mean, I literally just said the clean air thing, so... Alex, you can bum one off me if you're empty. I forget if you're a fellow addict. Oh, you know what? She doesn't smoke either, so... <laughs> okay, just checking. Alright, my other friend should be up and around the bed. Actually, that... I mean, I don't mean to be the guy to break us up already, but Ren, can you do me a favor? Can I have, like, two real quick minutes with Alex for a second? And you can, you know, you can run up and meet your friends. Uh, Wait, is, is something wrong? What is it? Nothing's wrong, nothing's wrong. It'll just take two minutes, super fast. All right, bud. <laughs> uh, look, I, I don't want to go up by myself. I mean, can't we just stick together? You're going to have all night to say, like, whatever. But since you want to meet up with your friends anyway... We're all going to meet up with them. It's like a buddy system. So... No, it's, it's fine, Ren. Go on up ahead and we'll catch up with you. Um, okay, I guess. Though this is a really strange way to start off, splitting up. It'll be fast. Thanks, man. I'll just be up the hill, in case... whatever. Ren seems nice. He's funny, you know? Yeah, he's... <sighs> Look, just what did you want to talk to me about before I suspect something nefarious? No, it's nothing. It's not bad. Listen, I just wanted to grab you ahead of time and say you've been... When the flag is flying, we are... funning. Um, I think it's supposed to say running. Oh. Oh, and thanks for setting up the attic for me. It's cool how it's like a little bit. Yeah, no problem. Anytime. It's nice at night, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. We can catch back up with Ren now. I didn't mean to take so long. I think they block this off at night since nobody needs to use it. Or maybe they just had a parade? Sure. Either one. Ah, oh, I forgot this was even here. It's a monument to some submarine that was sunk off the coast. Oh, do the, the, um, the radio guide thing they talked about on the boat, you know? It's what, but 102.3? I just want to see how it works. Uh, okay, sure. I think they said it's one... Named after the Hawaiian god of the sea, the USS Kanaloa was launched on January 15th, 1941 and commissioned into service at the end of that year. I've never heard of this before. Kind of creepy Blackman. in a way, right? On October anyway... It was sunk. Named after the... Parks and Facilities Office. Friend's sister Allison used to work there. You'd like her. She's tall. Um, all right. Man, they close up early. I guess no point in staying open if nobody's here. That's true. Hello, kids. Look, the other guys and gals must be further up, so be quick now. Okay, speed read definition of Edwards Island. This is a tourist trap with shops and a beach. Nobody lives here except for some geriatric named Mrs. Adler. But, as God is my witness, we'll never mention her or any other old person's name again. We are here to drink and be stupid, a tradition apparently started by bored recruits in the 1950s who would sneak dates over from the coastal towns. They literally called it trawling. Uh, huh. Really? The beaten path officially ends here. The beach is past the fence. I think Jerry told me that... There's a way that you used to get over there, but I'm blanking on what it was. But it's not... I mean, it can't be too difficult. Ugh, perfect. Well, just wait a minute and let me think. So... I think the dumpster will get us over if it'll... budge. Well, let's try it. Anyways, the town's use keep the whole slink over and camp thing alive and well. No, 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 I, um, I, I got it. Uh, yeah, isn't this supposed to be like a giant swarming animal mask wearing freakout? Where's everybody else? Jesus, Alex, it's just supposed to be like a somewhat oversized kegger, and I think more people are coming. And the other thing, 
is the Weirdo Caves. Weirdo Caves? The whole reason Alex brought her radio is because when you go to the... Oh, uh, before we get there, I should I should probably mention that. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! Who's that? That's so. There's this girl, Nona. She's just this girl, and I'm totally into her, and I want her to be into me. So just you know, j just be cool, okay? No pouting or complaining or anything. All right? Ren, Deal. Relax. Oh, and okay, Jonas. Now that we're dumpster buddies. What was the thing that you said to Alex back there? Do you have one of those vestigial tales Just or Just leave it alone, Ren, all right? You don't have to hear everything. I don't have to hear everything, but I want to hear everything. It's not a big deal, really. Just forget about it. Reginald, I hear you over there. Hey, guys. Wait, I was saying... I was about to tell a story. What was it? About Brad's car. Oh, well, that can wait. Hey. We started a fire down the way, but Nona wanted to play beach nanny, so... Uh, yeah. Hi. Hi. And Jonas, that's... Who are you? Jonas. That's Jonas. He's Alex's new in town, fresh as the daisy stepbrother. Stepbrother? Really? Yeah, yeah I'm... he's a cool guy from cool North Valley, so let's all try and show him a good time. <laughs> Just the beach and some beer will be enough, I'm sure. Wait, 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 wait. You're Jonas. Jonas, the stepbrother. Yeah. Um, what's your name again? That is Clarissa. How but are she's... your stepbrother? Like, what does that even mean? Um... My mom married his dad, so family, law, and all. Yeah, well, I guess this is happening now. This is a thing that is happening, so... <sighs> Where is everyone else? Nicole had that tennis thing. And? Uh, who else was supposed to come? Anyone? Everyone? Clarissa, we... <laughs> we took the last ferry. I thought more would show up, but... <laughs> oh my god, it's just Alex and her new stepbrother? Huh, that's it. That's who you brought. Uh, that... Come on, Clarissa. I'm fun. I'm hip. I'm with it. Listen to yourself. Wait, aren't you all, like, friends? I'm friends with Nona, and I'm downgrading Ren to, like, a creepy neighbor. And you I just met. <laughs> hey, what about me? What about you? Just never mind. You see, Jonas, normally this is like a 20-deep rager, but Pat had a party last weekend, and... And a bunch of kids got caught TPing the school. But this is great, right? We're on Edwards Island. Forget those losers who couldn't handle the weekend, who didn't think we could make it, who lost my invitation, who had to go Faster. on their... Faster. We've been hearing about this for years, and now we're going to do it. This is going to be amazing, right? Right, guys? Yeah, the beach, island stuff. Yeah, 